Heavenly Father, thank you for today again. We have a place to worship you, and we also have community to grow together. Dear Lord, please show your love to the world and fill out your love in the world so that no more war happens. Lord, we lift up everything onto your hand. We love you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, de died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.국제적통계에의하면전체의 서남아시아에 위치한 이슬람 공화국 중한 나라에서 대학 설립을 진행 중에 있습니다. 이 대학은 사역자들과 현지인들이 공의와 사랑의 하나님을 함께 예배함으로 세워가고 있으며 2022년에 개교를 예정하고 있습니다. 중앙아시아 최빈국에서는 무지개 유치원 프로젝트를 통해 그 나라의 과부와 아이들을 향한 주님의 계획을 쫓아가고 있습니다. 주님과 항상 동행함을 구하고 허락해 주신 현지인들과 함께 교제하며 주님의 사랑을 전하고 있습니다. 지오는 21세기 선교의 큰 축의 하나인 난민 선교에 동참하고 있습니다. 2021년 중동의 내전 중인 한 이슬람 국가에서 많은 난민이 발생했습니다. 지오와 함께 협력하고 있는 현지 교회들이 난민, 고아와 과부들을 돕고 무슬림들에게 복음을 전하고 있습니다. 현지 교회를 통해 많은 무슬림들이 주님께 돌아오고 있습니다. 이들에게 많은 기도와 격려가 필요합니다. 현재 아라비아 반도 안에서는 신실한 아프리카 그리스도인들이 탁월한 선교 인력으로 동원되고 있고 지오는 이들과 협력합니다. 가장 낮은 자리에서 부유한 이슬람 집안과 궁전을 섬기면서 고난과 핍박을 통해서 복음을 전하고 있습니다. 그중 그들을 통하여 주님께 돌아온 아랍 사람들이 가정교회로 세워지고 있습니다. 
그동안에 우리가 중동 아랍 무슬림들을 중심으로 사역을 해왔는데 최근에 주님께서 우리에게 사헬 지역 아프리카 무슬림들을 대상으로 기도하는 일들을 우리가 그동안에 이제 해오고 있습니다. 이곳에 하나님의 거룩한 영이 운행하시도록 정말 저들에게 진정한 영적인 소망이 그리스도에게 있다는 것을 증거되는 그런 일이 일어나도록 우리가 기도하고 있습니다. 또 하나는 이슬람의 본산지라고 할수 있는 아라비아 반도에 사우디아라비아를 놓고 저희들이 정탐팀을 준비하고 있고 계속해서 기도하고 있습니다. 하나님의 거룩한 생명이 사우디 아라비아를 변화시키도록 우리가 기도하고 있습니다. 하나님 아버지의 마음을 가진 자라면 무슬림들의 빈곤함과 영적인 어둠을 안고 눈물로 울며 씨를 뿌리는 그 기도가 우리 가운데 있어야 될 것입니다. 함께 기도하면 좋겠습니다. Dear Lord, we lift up everything unto your almighty and merciful hands. Please remember all the missionaries in the Sahel zone. Please pour out your Holy Spirit and work among people. Please do your ministry in Saudi Arabia so that they will turn back to you and know who you are. Please send more prayer partners to Thanks for listening to prayer. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today's passage, Mark chapter 1, verse 14 to 20. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he, has, he said, the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. When he had gone a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John in a boat, preparing their nets. Without delay, he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Amen. I'm going to show you an action. I'm going to act something without any words. Please guess what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> what did I do? What was that? What did I do? Okay, I was pretending to fish. Okay, have you gone fishing? Mm, have you tried? Uh, I did have several chances to do to go fishing, uh, and all what I did, what I got was all I failed, and I got nothing. Mm, it is not easy. Okay, have you none? Jesus' disciples. Uh, uh, ha have you known Jesus' disciples are called uh, a fisher of men? It is because that was what Jesus called them to do. Okay. Today's passage is about when Jesus met some of his disciples first. Simon and his brother Andrew were fishermen. You know, <laughs> and they were casting a net into the lake. Uh, Jesus appeared to them and called them to join him. As soon as they heard it, they just left their nets and followed Jesus. Okay. Later, Jesus saw uh, James and his brother John in a boat. They were also preparing nets. Again, Jesus called, and 
they followed, followed Jesus, they left their even father in the boat. Well, it's not difficult to notice. It's pretty easy to notice that they really responded to Jesus very quickly. It didn't take long to make a mind. The Bible said they followed Jesus at once. What does it mean? What does it mean? How come? How come? They could decide that quickly. What made them decide that quickly to follow Jesus? I believe that it shows how much they wanted and they needed Jesus who were sent by God our Lord. It was probably the reason that um, they could make up their mind um, to follow Jesus so quickly. And actually, it is something that God wants as well. God doesn't look for how smart the person is. God doesn't look for how much the person has. However, God looks for someone who seeks God. You know, the Lord does not does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart of people, looks at the heart. It is also so surprising to see what they left when they followed Jesus. They left everything. Even their father in the boat. Wow, that's amazing. What does it mean? What does it mean? How should we apply to our lives? Are we supposed to respect our parents? And are we supposed to take good care of our family members and neighbors? Yes, yes, of course we are. The Bible doesn't tell us to leave family. <laughs> Then, what lessons does this story give us? What lesson? I believe it is about priority. Our God wants to be the number one that we look at, that we look for. Again, our Lord, our God, the Almighty God wants to be the number one that we look at, that we look for. Jesus called people to join his ministry as a fisher of men. They were fisher men, you know. <laughs> and now they decided to become a fisher of men, become fishers of men as a follower of Jesus. What does fisher men do? What does fisher men do? You know, they cast the nets into the water and they catch fish. Then what do you think? What do you think a fisher of men do? What do you think a fisher of men do? Mm. Um, they will go meet people and they, they, they spread the good news. Just like casting a net. That was one of the ministries that Jesus and his disciples did. Jesus and his disciples spread, spread the good news. And the good news, news is about the kingdom of God is near. And people need to repent, um, repent uh, prepare their hearts by repenting for their, heart, their sins. 
the Son of God came on earth and people shall accept Him as a Savior and Messiah so that they can enter the kingdom of God. We are here to worship God, our Lord. We believe in Jesus, the Savior. And we look, we know, we know that we are children of God. And followers of Jesus. Let us always seek God first. It is the very first thing that we need to do. Like the man who um, become a fisher of men, as a follower of Jesus, we are also to share the good news, which is Jesus, our beloved Jesus, to people around us. Yes. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for calling us as your children. We are standing before you as a follower of Jesus. Though we are small and little, you look at the heart of people. Please help us to seek you all the time and help us to put priority on you. Please help us to choose to follow and obey your words instead of following our desires. We love you and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Application number one. Circle all the names of all the people who follow Jesus in today's passage. Number two, what did Jesus tell Simon and Andrew he would make them? A fisher of men. Number three, what did Simon, Andrew, James, and John leave behind when they decided to follow Jesus? Their nets and fathers.